Happy Tuesday! We're live. <laughs> live on Tuesday. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Instagram people, Facebook people of the world. And other people. <laughs> uh, I'm Monica. Uh, no, I'm Monica. <laughs> You're Kendall. No, I'm Kendall. Uh, we, we are the elements, if you don't know us. And um, we had just, we just went on a little vacay for 10 days. It was amazing. We think we found a place to do a retreat in Tulum, which is really exciting. Hopefully this October. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're looking into, um, into the early stages of building it. And so it is an amazing, amazing paradise um, in, in Tulum. So check us out. You think about Here paradise and then think about paradise and paradise. Paradise and paradise. Oh yeah, that, that is true. It is paradise and paradise. Um, so what's we, going on? We came back and we committed to do this 21 day challenge. We figured it would be perfect right after splurging on vacation and having too much fun. Coming back to a challenge and bringing things back to normal. Boy, was it fun. Um, <laughs> so we committed. Uh, the funny thing is that, well, let me back up. It's a 21 day challenge for yoga and then nutrition. And so I came at the nutrition piece and it, the, the nutrition comes in three stages. The first one is about reclaiming. Reclaiming. The second, second one is about detoxing. Detoxing, and the last one? It's about putting everything, all the nutrients back in, refueling your system. Restoring and Restoring. then. Restoring. Yeah, and then, anyway, so three stages to this to this cleanse slash this nutrition program. And, um, and so we come in the first week and the prep work we have to do to separate all of our groceries and do all of the meals and try to get everything in a row. It was, it was, it was pretty intense. But um, the results from that have been awesome. Yeah, it's a, little, it's a lot of work in the beginning. Even though you had a full grocery list planted out for you, you have um, smoothies built for you, supplements put in, everything like put together perfectly so all you have to do is follow directions which makes it really nice, but still in that, I wouldn't say work, but it takes a lot of weaving into your life. Yeah, so we did, um, we started prepping all of our meals, and and so now I feel the second week we're on a, we're on a roll. Um, the first week, because we had been indulging a lot, it was a little challenging on vacation? for me. Yes. No. <laughs> we, uh, I came back and so the first week trying to take away um, the coffee and and finding ways to not drink coffee <laughs> that that step down process was a little challenging but we did it yeah no coffee no alcohol all whole foods um, after a little foggy on day two three but four five and six seven eight like I feel amazing I feel amazing I haven't I haven't really drank this much water in in a very long time, so that I, I'm really excited about relearning how to uh, how to cook with the idea of loving the food and not just for cooking for eating. A means to an end. A means to an end. But enjoying uh, the process of it. Yeah, yeah. So the, the the meals are really mindful, and some of them are pretty elaborate, but it's for that purpose, so that you can really enjoy the the end product and that you played it pretty and that you sit down and enjoy the meal that you know that you took time to prep. Because it's another way, like if you create something and something that you're putting inside your body and you do it from a place of love, you create something beautiful and you sit down and you respect and enjoy and honor the meal that you created for yourself, like it's an amazing process. So I am really excited to remember that part and that this nutrition program is really helping me out. The, the lovely part about it is that we're loving it so much that we want to redo it again in, in every two months. So not in May, but in going back in June. And so there'll be an opportunity to join us in this. I think we should do it every month. We should do it every month. It feels so good. Um, and so with that, we started like this whole series about the li living or the big dream and how to get to that big dream that we have. But, Yet we're we have roadblocks. We're scared. 
we don't know how, we don't have the tools to get to the big dream. And so how, how do we start piecing all of this mindset so we can get onto the big dream and really start taking steps towards it? We have in the past, we've talked about reclaiming our, our personal sovereignty. We've talked about how to find the freedom to live the dream. And so today we're focusing on trust. And trust has been a part of, it's, it's a huge part of it. Uh, for me, living a life that has been built around distrust, I have to really change my mindset and how to, how to look at things in a different perspective. And so trusting myself that I am going to have the correct response, but that comes with a lot of responsibility for, for honesty, above all. What do you think? Yeah, I mean, I think, well, learning to be honest with yourself. Like, sometimes I think we think we're honest with ourselves, but um, we're really not. Yeah, there's a lot of stories that we create um, around uh, to, I guess, justify our actions, maybe? I don't know. Well, yeah, sometimes. Do you guys ever have stories in your mind that your mind tells to yourself about yourself to complete something that's unknown in your life? I don't know about you, but I have those all the time. All the time. Um, and I think taking all of, the, that, all of those stories out and then looking at the core and completely being honest is part of the trust, learning how to trust ourselves. And then once honesty starts to... Um, to be part of our daily practice and then we start really focusing or really intuition starts to become more apparent So it's there. We just never want to listen to it because we don't trust that side of it, right? Because it's, It may feel like we're crazy um, uh, So with the work that 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 we do is about specifically in this 21 day program is that we're learning to trust ourselves and that our bodies are always 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 supporting us and that all of our uh, physiological processes are um, are working for us always yeah, detoxing us always claiming us I think there's something important about it. it's like you see all these um, at gyms on the places have these challenges complete 30 classes 30 days all this stuff and it's on the very physical level right and so you know, we're multi-dimensional beings. It's like, you know, we have a physical body, we have a consciousness, right? We have that part of it. And, you know, it's, it's what fuel you're putting into your body, um, the exercise that you're doing, and also the mental um, space that you're creating in your mind as well. You know, if, you, if your body's out of whack, then you're constantly focusing on your body. That's where your attention's gonna be is on your out of whack, whack body, right? And if your mind's running crazy because you have stuff going in life, you can't still it, then, then your focus is going to be there, right? And so if we can fuel our bodies right, and if we learn to quiet our minds down and move a little bit to keep ourselves health, healthy and anchored, um, then we can start to quiet the waters of the mind and really dig into or listen to that intuition because everything is where it's supposed to be and it's not out of alignment. I think it's when we get really far our alignment, when our bodies are out of alignment, or our minds are out of alignment, that um, we can't hear our own intuition. Yeah, so I think, I feel like this nutrition, this nutrition program is about learning and becoming very simple uh, with, with ourselves and, and trusting that, learning how to trust ourselves and that, um, that the process, to learn to trust, trust the process. And that, and that is a lesson of trust in itself. Like they're all micro lessons all the time. And so I feel like this is like a tool that is in real life, in real time, that we have to apply it. And that's the only way to learn it. I always try to bypass the process because I think I'm smarter than the process. So I want to go around it, but then it always puts me back in line, like five spaces back. I said, no, you're going to sit for a while longer because of that. No, we are. <laughs> so trusting the process and knowing that you're exactly where you need to be in this moment right now. Right now. And so right now I'm starting to get hungry. <laughs> I trust that. Um, we have an amazing event Sunday at the Wolf Factory. Best Sunday ever. Best Sunday ever. 
Um, you can have brunch there, you can go to the river. It's really great because you finish at 10 and then you can walk down the river and especially it warms up, you can go tubing and then come back and have brunch at um, Selvage Brewing. Um, and yeah, it's a lot of fun. Yeah. Just check it out. And if you're really, real adventurous, nude yoga on a Saturday at 4 p.m. Uh, we both teach it together, so it's a very safe environment. Our bodies are the greatest instruments we will ever have possession of in our lifetime. And so we choose to honor them, not have any shame around them, and create freedom around them um, in a very healthy environment. And lastly, we have, oh no, we have two more things. Holotropic breath, two hour breathing workshop. Amazing Elevate your consciousness. Mm -hmm. Experience al alternative states of consciousness, and we'll have a introduction how to breathe, and then we'll debrief at the at the end, so that we can have a an integrated experience um, that comes up on May seven. It's going to be all up on our um, website on the event page, and lastly, teacher training starts again in June. June fifth. We have five spots available, so June fifth. And again. it's in person online or you do a hybrid of both, both depending on your schedule. We try to make it really convenient for everybody so it's, it's something that you can work into your schedule. If you have questions about it, definitely reach out to one of us. Um, we can make things happen. Yes, yes, and we do have a, um, a full scholarship available on our website, so you have to fill out the, fill out the, the scholarship application if you're interested in that. Anything else? Hi, Erica. Anything else? Um, no. Have the most kick-ass Tuesday ever. Kick-ass Tuesday. High five to everyone. See you later.